I'm uh, in San Jose. I'm looking at a dead silver maple. It's a, a fairly large tree with a trunk diameter probably 38 inches or so. And it is completely dead with no life whatsoever on it. Uh, usually when I look at a, a silver maple I find lots of evidence of old wounds and hollowings. Uh, this particular tree is, uh, is quite a bit different. It has some sort of a trunk canker and I can see these very interesting marks and they're not just isolated in the base of the tree they go all the way up through all the the branch structure even clear out on all some of the smaller limbs so it is uh, um, it, it is a trunk canker that I am not familiar with and as dead as it is I don't even know if uh, sending a sample in would tell me but I can see some of it at the base of the tree and prominently on the trunk. Silver maple. Now that was an interesting one. I called the client who owns the tree and asked them a few questions about this tree. Um, first question I asked was how long has it been dead and they indicated that it died just this year. It did not leaf out. They said that it was in full foliage last year. I asked them if there were any other changes and he indicated to me that the ground around the tree, not on the trunk, but the ground was covered with mushrooms. I said, really? Could you describe them to me? He indicated that they were not the typical mushroom form, you know, with a stem and a, and a top piece, um, but that they looked more like wavy leaves. And I said, wow, I've never seen anything quite like that. Um, if I did, I didn't understand it. And I said, how much? Of a, of a quantity. How, how, how many of these mushrooms were there? And he said that he filled a garbage can full. So, the problem is, I've got to take the tree down. It's a silver maple. I recognize that silver maple trees decay quickly. Um, they get hollow quickly, but this tree doesn't seem to be hollow. But it may have a rotted root system. So that leads me to wonder how safe this tree is to take down, and if it's destabilized. Um, not sure about the root, the uh, the type of fungus that it is. I'll have to hit the books and see if I can figure that out. Uh, but it it went quickly and uh, it's something new to me. So if anybody knows anything about uh, this or has um, an idea that can give me a heads up on it, I'd sure appreciate it. Uh, you can email me at sarahtree at aol.com. Uh, I'd appreciate any help. Thank you.